So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys, based on the time zones you all are coming from. So my name is Neeraj Chakedia, and I have been working in this IT industry for more than 13 years now. In today's session, we are going to first of all discuss on how exactly we can set up the Power BI setup in our Windows-based system in terms of having the access to Power BI desktop. And then we are going to have a discussion on how we can import the data set by using the Power BI, by using the Excel, and then how we can generate the insight for helping the team in deriving the best possible analysis from a given data set. That means how we can find out the best solution in terms of mapping them to the right data set accordingly. So this is what we are going to talk about. So let's open up Power BI dashboard. So this is an entire dashboard for Power BI. So let's say if you want to import data set from a given source, so what we can do is we can go ahead and import that from any of the local Excel file, or we can simply connect the data from any of the data set as well. For example, let's say in order to fetch the data, we can click on get data. And here we can see the list of all the available data sources from where we can pull data in Power BI. So we can see here we can import the data set from the local files in terms of Excel, CSV, XML, or the PDF document, including the parquet file, which is basically a database backup. The databases which we can through which we can get connected to multiple database engines, like we have the Postgre, MySQL, Sysbase, Stratega, SAP, HANA, and then we have Redshift. Then we have the Power Platform. Then we have the Azure solutions where we can directly connect to any of the Azure based services here. So here we can go ahead and navigate to the section for Excel workbook because we do have an Excel file through which we can perform the analysis. So here we can click on connect. So we have a sample superstore data set available where we have somewhere around 20,000 rows of data, 10,000 rows of data for a sample dummy store where we have data set come from different vendors. For example, here we have data set for the global sales support for a company across different categories and subcategories. So here we can import orders, people, return. That's, so here if we have multiple sheets available in the Excel document, then each and every of these sheets are going to be returned as a individual table. So here we can click on so as you can see, all of these three tables are currently being imported. So as you can see from the left sidebar, so here we have orders, category, city, country, postal code, profit, quantity. Then we have the sales figures. So again, these are things these are things that are currently applicable here. Now this is the entire canvas for the report creation. Then we have the second tab available for the data set so we can see a preview of the entire data which has been imported so as you can see here the data file that we are currently working on it has the order id row id then we have for order date shipment date the customer name segment country city the prototypes of the game these are the available data set for the sales quantity discount and the profit also then we have the third tab where we can see the relationship between different tables that we may have imported. Now to start the analysis, so we can go back to the report section. So right now this sheet contains the details about the performance of a company in a given year. Now as a part of the problem statement, the company wants to find out the profit distribution of the company across different years. Across different years. So what we can do is we can simply go ahead and choose the component here for example we can see the profit as a measure and we have the order date so right now if we select these two components here so here we can see the profit distribution that we have for the profit and that to buy year by year as you can see here we have profit distribution for different years now if you want we can convert this visual into different type of visualizations available here that we have the stack bar chart, we have the stack graph chart, then we have for the line graph or stack area and for other components. For example, here we can choose the line chart. Now under this line chart, we can go ahead and see a complete linear distribution of profit over the years. 
Now, from here, we can see the, the profit has been increased year over the year. It has been a straight graph. So, again, we can see infer that the profit distribution has been a linear distribution across different years here. But now the company wants to dive deeper. The company wants to understand how the profits have been distributed among different months. So, what we can do is we can simply expand this. And here we can choose it based on the quarter. And now we have a month distribution. So now we can see we have a different picture. So we can see when the profit simply increased to the maximum scale. And when the profit, as you can see here, the profit has been on a steady increase from February to March. But again, in March, it in April itself simply declined to a great value. Then again, it simply increased. So we got the highest profit in the months of August and September. And then it has been almost steady here. So now we have a better insight in terms of when the profits were higher, when we were having the lower profits. And now currently the entire data set is the collection of the data for all four years. Because right now we have just a moment. All right. So now the company wants to see the same graph being split into four different, we can say legends for four different years. We don't want to have a collective report for all the years. We want to see the performance for each and every year differently. So what we can do is here we have the year graph available. So now we can simply drag and drop the year graph as a legend. So once we do that, we can see now we have a clear picture of how the profit has been distributed over the years. So you can see now we have this light blue color for 2014 then for 15, 16, and then for 17 here. So we can see a clear distinction and we can make a comparison between the profits of different years spread across different segments. Again, and if you want to see this in detail, we want to see the profit distribution for different categories, for different segments, for different shipment days, and we will be able to do that. So now we have got a good insight on how exactly the profits were distributed across different months instead of having a linear graph taken up for different years. So now we have a detailed insight from the available data set. So same way we can create n number of visuals depending upon the requirement. We can have those different, we can set defined. For example, we want to have a different visual created. Now the company wants to understand the profit distribution across different shipment segments here. So here we have profit, then we can choose suppose here we want to see the distribution across different categories. So here we can set this for categories as well. So as you can see here, we have the profit by category for, for technology, for office supplies, for furnitures. Then again, we want to have the profit distribution analysis done for profit against, let's say, different shipment mode. So here we have shipment mode. If you want to use a different visual, we want to have a donor chart being placed here. We can use that. Next, if you want to have the distribution of profit, so here we can do segment. We want to have a pie chart period for it. So we can have a pie chart. We can say the profit against different regions where we have the entire data set defined. So we can have that kind of, we can see if we want to have tree map defined for different regions. So we can include that. So we can have different type of visuals created and we can choose accordingly. And same way, suppose here we want to have the profit against multiple subcategories here so you have multiple subcategories now we want to visualize the profit against these subcategories as a part of a complete tree map then we can choose the entire tree map and then we can simply have the entire distribution done and in case if you want to add more visuals you want to customize this even further then we can do that easily as required so thank you for joining and have a great day ahead